So I got a hankering for some salad, and I'm out of salad dressing. So we're going to make some. Got a mason jar. We got a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to put all that stuff in there. I'm just going to show you what your options are. Basically, salad dressing, you want roughly 50-50 vinegar and oil. Very simple dressing. I usually go one-third oil and two-thirds vinegar just to go a little bit lighter on the oil. You can do what you want. Uh, so what I have out here is I've got different kinds of oils. Olive oil, popular. Uh, you can see this one's almost empty. You can use canola oil. I don't have it out here. I got it over there. The one we like in our salad dressings is grapeseed oil. It's kind of expensive, uh, but it's really nice in salad dressings. Um, <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just uh, put some in there. Not going to put it to a. Th yeah, well, there we go. There's about a third of the. Uh, volume. That's a 250 milliliter mason jar. Uh, so for vinegar, you can, you got a bunch of options for vinegar. You got your regular table vinegar, white vinegar, which you can use. Uh, I've been using this apple cider vinegar lately, Heinz brand. Um, you can use, <coughs> I'm going to try a little bit of this now. I've got some rice vinegar here, uh, Moroccan brand rice vinegar. I'm going to try some of that. You can use lemon juice. Instead of vinegar, you can use 100% lemon juice if you like. Uh, I think I'm going to put a bit of lemon juice in this one actually. So I'll just put that much lemon juice in and I'll try some of this. Uh, I haven't used this yet. Mmm, it's got a nice character to it. So I'll put a little bit of that in there. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of that. And you can use, like last time I made it, I used 100% apple cider vinegar. Or you can use 100% white vinegar. Doesn't matter. Just try different things. See what flavors you like. Doesn't really matter. It all ends up being really nice. And then you just put some herbs and spice in there, whatever you like. So I got here some fresh ground pepper that I ground yesterday with a pestle and mortar. So I'm going to put like, oh, a good couple of pinches in there. Uh, I got some sea salt here. We're going to put in, oh, I don't know, that's maybe a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Uh, now, I just, I can never get enough time. Um, my wife goes crazy. I put time in everything. So I'm going to put some time in there. This is dried time. If you had fresh stuff, you'd mince it. Or maybe if you had fresh stuff, you'd put this in. If you if you want, you can put that all into like a little food processor or something and and uh, whip it up. So we're gonna get some thyme in there a little bit. And thyme I find always goes well. And I've got here's some oregano. Sure, why not? We'll throw some oregano in there for a salad dressing. Quarter teaspoon maybe. I don't know. Summer savory goes well with thyme I find. And it's a good Nova Scotian herb. If you're Nova Scotian, you got to use summer savory in pretty much everything, I think. Uh, and I got this Hungarian uh, paprika. It's a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. So if I put, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon in there, it would be just fine. Uh, another thing that goes nice in there, actually, that I usually put in, but I'm not going to this time, which reminds me I should fill that up a little bit more, uh, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard goes really nice in there, makes a fantastic uh, dressing. Um, let me see, I don't think I'm going to do that this time, so I'm going to put in a little bit more cider. Normally I'd have a little bit of room left over for the uh, Dijon and just a little bit of oil. That's all there is to it. With the dried herbs, so you put the lid back on and you give it a good shake. With the dried herbs, if you can, um, leave it soak a couple hours at least. And that will keep in the fridge for, you know, until you're done with it if, at least, you know. So there, you just shake it up. 
keep in the fridge for weeks, you know, it's no big deal. With the dried herbs, ideally you'd let that soak for a couple of hours first to absorb the herbs and get that flavor into the into the dressing. But I'm going to use this almost immediately because I got a major hankering for salad and I realize we're out of dressing. Uh, one thing I may do actually, if I still have it in here, I don't see it. I had the rest of a commercial blue uh, blue cheese dressing and it still had a lot of blue cheese in there which I, I just love blue cheese dressing so it had some of that left in there what I was going to do is pour this into the bottle of blue cheese dressing shake it all around to get the rest of that blue cheese flavor out of there into this mix that I have and then pour it all back in the jar uh, let me just have another look in there the camera's kind of in front of the fridge so I can't really uh, can't really do the search that I'd like to do here I could have sworn I had that darn thing right here. It could possibly be that I did not voice that particular desire with my spouse and she may have discarded it thinking it was empty. Uh, but there was enough and that's how you go about not wasting food. Anyway, that's it. That's going to be a, just a fantastic dressing there. Sa uh, salad dressing. And uh, fill your boots. Just you know put in whatever you want whatever tastes good to you it's basically some kind of oil some kind of vinegar or lemon juice or whatever and uh, a few herbs and spices rock on you're off to the races so there's my salad mix I get it from the Parkdale market Rochon Farms a bunch of different greens in there there's some dill weed in there which is actually I should have taken some of that dill weed and put it in my dressing um, really great salad mix and uh, basically you know you could put that into a proper bottle if you wanted to I just do it like that fantastic that is going to be very yummy stuff